All right, I just want to talk a little bit about the target attribute. So sometimes you would like for your website to open on a new page, and sometimes you would like for your website viewers to stay on the same page. In a case like this, let's go back to that where it is now. Oops, I didn't mean to get that. Here we are. So in this case, the home button is, you can see this tab right here. If I click how to, I stay in the same tab. So I never did save that page. So I'll hit the back button and let's look at the how to page. Oops, how to, there it is. So it looks like I never did save this. There it is. So how to is here. Go home, go back to how to, go back to home. So you'll notice it stays in the same tab. But what if I wanted it to open in a new tab? And why would I want to do that? Well, first of all, let me just say, as you can see by the number of tabs I have open, and I have a feeling that many people are like me, we don't really want every website to be opening new tabs for us. So be careful when you ask for the new tab. But here's how you do it. I'm going to, uh, actually, let me go back here and just find a website about kettlebells. So let's see. Uh, all about kettlebells. That looks like a good one. So I'm going to copy this website, the URL, copy. And I'm going to come back here and I'm going to add another link on my index page, another link at the bottom of the page. Read all about kettlebells here, period. And here, this is the word that I want to be the live link. So I'll create my A tag first. And then when I type the href equals, I'm going to paste in the website that I had copied. And first I'll save that. And now I will go to my page here. And am I on the home page? Yes. So where is that? Read all about kettlebells here. If I click this, you'll notice it stays in the same tab. That doesn't make me happy because I want the viewer, after they read all about it, to go back to my website. So let's see if we can fix that. I'll hit the back button here. And I'm going to add an attribute here that says underscore target e oh no sorry I did that backwards target equals quote mark and it's going to be underscore and the word blank so let's save and then take a peek at it refresh now what happens when I click this look at that it opened a new link here's the original here's the new link so by default, a standard link has the attribute of target equals underscore self. That's by default. It is built into that tag. So if I save and then go over here and refresh, my home page still keeps me on the same, my home and my how-to, those still keep me on the same tab. But my link down here takes me to a new tab. So that's a little bit about the target equals blank and target equals self. Again, you don't need to use target equals self if you're happy with the sticking in the same tab. So I'm just going to put a little comment tag up here. And that comment tag will be, I use target equals
blank to open a link in a new browser tab. So I keep these comment codes here. And remember at the beginning of the semester, I advised that you print all of your code and keep it in a three ring binder. Maybe you're beginning to understand now why I've asked you to do that. You don't want to be in the middle of a midterm exam and saying, oh, I'll just open up project or lab one or lab two or lab three so I can see what it looks like because then you're going to have a lot of tabs up here named index.html, aren't you? That's going to become really confusing. Much, much easier and much better to print all of the code from your labs, keep them in a three ring binder, organized lab one, lab two, lab three, put in comments like this when you need to take care of things. Let's save it, select it, copy it, and put it in the validator. Oh, how nice. Nothing wrong there. I, I'll run the other page through the validator before our next lab. See you in a bit.